what is up you guys it's your girl brianna elise and i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be trying out a bunch of different products that i hauled in my sephora video and also let you know why some of the products that i did get didn't work out so if you want to know how i achieved this look then just keep on watching <laughs> Right, you guys so i already did my brows off camera i did use the brow stylist definer by l'oreal this and the cover girl micro brow pencil are my two favorite holy grail eyebrow products from the drugstore i carved out my brows with the nars soft matte concealer all this in my what i got from sephora video now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have tried this under my eyes and i don't like it for under my eyes i think it's too heavy under my eyes but i do love it to carve out my brows prep i already washed my face put my serums on and my moisturizer now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna try a product i've never tried before no this is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury whatever that thing is called i don't know i know i'm late but better late than never and don't feel pressure to buy stuff just because it's trendy and buy it right when you see everybody else buying it buy it when it's right for you this is in the shade medium so it has this huge doe foot applicator on here. Should I use my finger? Should I use a brush? Let's use the good old tools that God gave us. That did give a very pretty glow to the skin, I won't lie there. Oh, you guys, I forgot I had another product to try. I don't know if I should have put this on first. Okay, well, this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Never tried this. Never tried the Milk. What is the Milk one called? Hydro Grip Primer. Never tried that either. So I'm just going to start with one pump because I'm really not sure. And I'm going to warm it up on my fingertips. It does have like a sticky consistency. It is tacky. And I want to do kind of a simple eyeshadow look, but I did get a bunch of new eyeshadow palettes from Colored Rain, which is a Black-owned, affordable cosmetics brand. But we're going to use the Rose Garden palette, and it has these beautiful shades in here. I have never tried Colored Rain eyeshadows before. I have always wanted to try them, but you know how you always want to try something, then you don't do it. And it's like, girl, what is wrong with you? I'm going to take this no-name eyeshadow blending brush that I really like. It's called Chestnut Rose. I'm going to go into that shade for my transition color. And these shadows are very pigmented and they have a lot of kickback. We recommend really tapping off that excess before you kind of go too far and you can't get it back. But I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my... Like, you see how much pigment that already gave me? Just kind of building that color in the crease. Guys, I'm telling you, it be the no-name brushes that you don't even remember where you got them from that always worked the best the beauty supply store brushes girl you do not need a cosmetics brush you don't <laughs> you really don't so we've got that built up there i'm gonna go into the shade what is this the shade rosewood and i'm gonna bring that into my crease as well and just kind of darken it up a little bit wow that halo go is really pretty on the skin i really like that Now I'm going to take this shade, this beautiful, dark, deep chocolate shade. It's called Chocolate Rose. And I'm going to start building that outer corner. I like to pack it. So pack on the outer corner. And then blend. So let's go in with this. I love this Sonia Kashuk brush. This is so old. I, I doubt they sell this anymore, but they probably have something similar. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down a shade underneath the brow bone just so that everything doesn't look so stark in comparison. Take that chestnut rose color and I'm just going to put that underneath the brow just so that everything kind of comes together a little bit more. I think I want to go in with one of these shimmers up here on the lid i think i'm gonna go in with gold rose wait where is it gold rose right here 
And I'm probably just gonna use my finger to put this on the lid. Now, first impression of these shadows, there is some fallout, but the pigment is beautiful, and who cares about a little bit of fallout? Fallout for me isn't a deal breaker. I don't really think fallout should be a deal breaker, but I'm really going to pack this on. It's pretty. I really like this color. Really pretty. And I have some like weird hairs under my eyes. I just cleaned up underneath my eyes and stuff and took some of that fallout away. And now I'm gonna go and get ready for foundation. So foundation today, I am gonna be trying out, this is my second time trying this. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga Foundation. So my most recent Sephora video, I did haul the Makeup by Mario foundation. I wanted to love that foundation. I did not love that foundation. Did my base, the same way I always do it and that it looked beautiful upon first application and then throughout the day I noticed that it was like oxidizing really badly and it was just kind of breaking up on my skin and it just wasn't looking how it, it my skin wasn't looking surreal okay it wasn't it was looking surreal when I first put it on but it has I didn't feel like it had longevity I tried it out three different times I made sure I primed I made sure I powdered properly did all the steps that I could do and I did not like it so now we're gonna go ahead and try this house labs foundation again when I tried this yesterday I wasn't blown away by the way it looked on my skin but I'm gonna go ahead and try it again I have that elf I have the power grip on so let's see one thing I will say is the shade selection and finding a shade in this foundation is very confusing i don't know if anybody else had that problem but girl i'm i took i got the shade 330 medium cool and i'm gonna go ahead and start dotting this on the skin but i found that when i tried to blend this in with the brush it did not look that good so i'm gonna go ahead and use my real techniques blending sponge and i'm gonna go ahead and blend that into the skin This is too dark, I think. I'm gonna blend down my neck and my hairline and stuff, but I think this shade is too cool. So I'm gonna have to go to Sephora and exchange this one. Now it could just be the shade match, but I, like, I'm not blown away by how this is looking. I think you can find this same kind of finish and formula with found with foundation that doesn't cost $42, but I'm gonna get properly color matched and kind of see if that changes how I feel. But so far for the second time that I've tried it, I'm not blown away with how it looks. So for the concealer today, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way concealer. This is my third time trying this concealer. I did return the LYS Beauty concealer that I hauled in my Sephora video. I just felt like it was too full coverage to where it really emphasized any texture and lines that I have under my eyes. I do have pretty textured under eye. I am susceptible to milia, which are like little keratin buildups that you get that result in white bumps under the eyes. So I am susceptible to those, so I'm, I'm really careful on how my foundation looks, I mean, how my concealer looks under the eyes, because I don't want it to really pick up on all that texture. But I did get the shade Nude. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that under the eyes like that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight in all the normal areas. Let that sit for a little bit to kind of build up. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Ooh, I'm itchy, ooh, ooh. I tried this in the past and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Now, I don't know if it's just cause I'm not a cream girly. Like I've never really been into creams, but child, 
I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna blend that in. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray with some Fix Plus. I don't really like to do that triangle. I just feel like it adds too much product to the under eye. So I take what I already have and then I gradually blend it over to this side. That way I'm not using as much product under the eye. Holy crap, that blended out really nice. For that to be so full coverage and to not emphasize any of my texture underneath my eyes, just made that a 10 out of 10 in my book. I really, really like how this is blending out. It looks really seamless, very natural, and you wouldn't even look at this under the eyes and think that it was a full coverage formula. It just blends into the skin beautifully. Do you see how easy that's blending out? I'm not fighting with it. It's not giving me super crepey under eyes. That's what that LYS did to me. I don't find this putty bronzer to be super blendable, but I'm gonna give it another chance and I'm gonna blend it a little bit more, but I'm gonna take any foundation that I have left and I'm kind of just gonna try to diffuse that because you guys probably can't see it, but it's just, I don't love it, but we're gonna, you guys, I just think I'm just, is it okay to just see what I mean? It just, why is it all the way down there? First, I'm going to go in with this one size. This is the blush that I hauled in the Sephora video. This is in the shade Very That. I'm going to go into this cream shade on the top. I really have been enjoying this lately. I'm not a cream girl. I told you guys that, but I really like how this looks on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and... Isn't that so pretty and peachy? I think this kind of color complements my skin and my undertones more and then like that baby pink 80s blush that's trending right now. Just looks so fresh and pretty. I'm gonna blend it more, don't worry. I'm not gonna look like I'm fresh out of the 80s. No offense, mom. <laughs> All right, now let's head under the eyes into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna take her. And what I do is first of all, just make sure that there's no creasing under the eyes because if you go right in with the powder and there's creases, you're setting those creases into place. I take a little bit of that powder into the cap of the brush. I'm gonna take it on the dome shadow brush and I'm gonna go in and lightly, very lightly set, tap off that excess and I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye lightly first. And it just makes the baking, in my opinion, look a lot better. Take about that much. And I'm gonna take one of my new favorites, which is these little brushes, these little, what is this called? Powder puff. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip that in there. And I'm gonna press. And I'm gonna dust her off. I love this freaking e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. It has this nice flat top and it's really nice for getting product out. This LIS Triple Fix powder that I hauled in my last Sephora video. This is in the shade Tan or Independent, sorry. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. Set the other areas of my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer, like my favorite bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Island Ting bronzer. This is the Real Techniques 407 multitask brush. I love using this for my bronzer. She is pigmented, just be careful. Suck it in, shut up. And go ahead and just start lightly kind of getting that bronze. Girl, we love bronzer. Get that double chin. Fancy. Fancy. Now I'm gonna go in with the powder of the one size blush. Patrick Star, you did your thing with this blush. I love that, yeah. All right, now I'm also gonna take that highlight, child, because he gave us everything. Cream, powder, and a shimmer. And I'm gonna take that shimmer, and I'm gonna take this little 
fan brush and I'm gonna take that and dab her in here and just highlight. This is not 2016, so don't be highlighting too much. I was a glazed donut. I was a glazed donut. Now I'm like an old fashioned. <laughs> I've toned her down, child. She is feeling herself right now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the Loba Lash line. Okay. I thought I was gonna do a pop of color, but I think that this blush is already doing the pop of color for me. So I think I'm just gonna go on the lower lash line with that beautiful chocolate rose color that I used in the outer V. And I'm gonna take that with a detail brush or like a, what is, you know what I'm talking about, girl. And we're gonna place her right on the bottom. That looks pretty. I'm gonna really smoke it out. A little bit of smokiness. Do we wanna add some of that gold rose in the um, inner corner? We do, we do. Same color that I use on the lid, I'm putting that in the inner corner. I wanna shine bright. For the lashes, I'm gonna use that girl. She's like $5, Essence Lash Princess. Brush up my eyebrows. Nice little spoolie action. And I'm gonna take my favorite brow gel. This is the Revolution, Makeup Revolution Clear Brow Gel. Your brows will be staying, honey. They ain't going nowhere. Through a fire, a hurricane, a tsunami, a natural disaster could come and your brows are still gonna be in place. I am gonna put on some lashes. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. I'm gonna take my NYX Lip Liner in Cold Brew. Oh, that's pretty. Lipstick and Nude Creme. These are some of the best lipsticks at the drugstore. And you know I can't just do just lips with no gloss. So for gloss, I'm gonna go in with my, one of my favorite glosses of like all time. This is the Buxom in the shade White Russian. You guys, I'm gonna put these lashes on and I'll be back. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I did change up the lips. I didn't like how the lips were looking. I just went in with a brown lip liner and some clear lip gloss. And I also just sprayed my face with some Fix Plus by MAC. And that's it for today's video, you guys. Once again, it's your girl, Brianna Elise, and I'm out.